A lot of teachers are interested in having students edit and annotate PDFs. Kami is a great tool to make that possible. Kami also offers a really nice Google Classroom integration that makes this even easier. Now, I'm going to be demoing Kami from both a teacher and a student perspective, but the most important thing for you to know is that you must have the Kami Chrome extension installed on both the teacher and student device. So I have it right up here. It's this little purple uh, K circle with the K. Uh, that's Kami. So I'll uh, give you the link to it in the description for this video. Um, you'll want to have that installed uh, to follow my steps. Now, Kami is a freemium product, so you get some features for free and you get uh, other features you have to pay for. Now, the feature I'm going to be demonstrating here, the Google Classroom integration, does require a paid subscription to Kami, but you can also try it out for free for, um, I think, 30 days. Now, when you have the Kami extension installed, if you are the teacher, when you go to Google Classroom and you click on your Create button, you will get this magical new option, Kami Assignment. Uh, now, this is pretty cool. This is the part that uh, requires a paid version of Kami to use, but I will talk about some uh, ways you can use this even if you have a free account. Let's go ahead and click on Kami Assignment and log in to my Google account. There we go. Uh, now, Kami has kind of um, created their own Google Classroom interface. It looks very similar to what you've uh, been using in the past. So I want to call this uh, Match the Terms. All right, I'm going to leave most of this blank just for speed. I'm going to go ahead and attach a um, PDF that I want my students to work on. So this is a very simple matching activity. There's a whole bunch of math symbols on one column and then the uh, terms for those uh, symbols and students have to match them up. We can fill out all of this uh, as we want to. Same all of your Google Classroom stuff. Pick a topic, go there. And you want to use the make a copy for each student. OK, all right, that's good to go. So let me go ahead and assign that. Now, that's going to show up like a normal assignment to you and your students to get posted to Google Classroom. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the student view and we'll take a look at this assignment from a student's perspective. All right, let me go here. So here is the assignment we just posted match terms looks normal so first thing you'll notice is it does add the student's name to the file just like it would normally with google classroom now i'm going to click on that pdf and i get this preview now what you're going to need to instruct your students to do is once they get to this page again they must have the cami extension installed at the top of the page, they're going to see open with Kami. That's all they have to do. It may ask them to log into their account the first time they use it, but then they will see the assignment and have access to all the Kami editing tools over here on the left. Now, the easiest way to do this is with the drawing tool. So I'll just uh, pick a color, uh, pick a line thickness, we'll go a little thicker, and we're going to start. So equal signs over here. Um, here's pi. We'll do this one. That's good. Uh, that's the plus sign. So we'll just match all of these up or it's addition. There we go. Complete that activity. Now, this is the part that is really cool. And this is why we use that Kami extension and created a Kami assignment. When you do all of that, students get this great turn in button right over here. The only way you get that turn in button is if you have the Kami extension installed and you use the Kami assignment through Google Classroom. Now you can use Kami without having a premium account and subscription, but you're not gonna get that turn in button. Let me go ahead and just demo this. I'm gonna click turn in. And just like Google Classroom, it's going to mark that as done and will prevent students from editing. Any edits they make won't be displayed to the student or to the teacher unless the student clicks unsubmit, makes those edits, and then resubmits it. Let me go ahead and switch over to the teacher view now and see how this, uh, how this looks. All right, so here's our match the terms assignment. We're going to go ahead and view that. Here's our one student. It does uh, say turned in. I'm going to open that up. It's just going to open up in the normal Google Classroom editing window. And there we go. I can see the students edit. Now I can use my normal commenting features if I want. If you know something's wrong, um, please revise. I can have my comments. I can have my grades, my private comments, and then return that 
to the student just like you normally normally would. Kami is a wonderful tool if you have PDFs or image files that you want students to especially draw on top of. So check it out. Take a look.